Good morning. A little bit later this morning, 4.45, 29th of March, and uh, it's absolutely fabulous. Just walking down here with uh, Bobby. It's moon up there, I don't know if anybody can see it, I don't know if this little camera will pick it up, but there is. Obviously, they never quite do the moon justice, do they? I'll take him off his lead in a moment. And uh, the woodland is absolutely buzzing, it's alive. And it makes me feel blessed that I'm still alive. It's an absolutely amazing morning. And there's just a little bit more daylight entered the woodland and just puts a totally different feel on everything. Primroses up there, which you're not going to see. So I don't know why I turned the camera. But um, it's great. Just walk backwards, see if you can see the silhouette of me. I'm going to let little Bobby off in a moment and let him have a wonder. I reported a week or so ago that the uh, Animal fatalities had started again. Badger, porpoise, seals. So just what's happening? Being reported as far down the coast as Barmston. And I know one's been found at Fraysthorpe. Or should I say, I know a porpoise has been found at Fraysthorpe with uh, strange markings, should we say, to its your area. We'll head down to the beach and we'll pick this up in a moment. We're going to head up there. And we're going to go into that little bit of woodland and follow along the top of the cliffs. We're going to go to Hartendale Gutter, walk along Hartendale Gutter. What's this little dog doing? Come on, dog. Let's go. Come here. Just going to say a few words now before. I get right onto the cliff tops because I'm pretty sure that the wind will be horrendous. So we're heading down towards Hartendale Gutter. You will recall a few weeks ago that I were on the beach below the gutter. Well today, the tide's too high for me to take the risk of walking down along the bottom of the cliffs. Not just the tide, the risk of rock falls or anything. So we'll pick this up and update as I move along here. I'm keeping him on his lead for no other reason than I don't want him going near edge of cliff. So there you go. I would think that uh, shortly the little dog will have his own GoPro on the next two or three of these, which uh, will be quite interesting. We'll see uh, from his perspective what the world looks like. So 29th of March, about 5 a.m. now. As you can see, stunning. Why would you want to be laid in bed on a morning like this? Plenty of time to lie down, isn't there? When we're no longer here. So let's just uh, enjoy this. We'll pick it up soon.
another cutting, not quite as deep as Hartendale that drains a bit of land water down onto the beach or the rocks below. We've now reached the gutter. There you go. It's to the bottom of it and that's where I was a few weeks ago. Looking up from the beach and as you can see the tide's well in and you probably wouldn't be able to walk around that point this morning. If there's any point in walking up the gutter or maybe walking along the edge and have a look down with thermal camera. I don't know. We shall see. We'll pick this up uh, as we move along this track because I the wind is absolutely shocking, I realise that. So, it probably sounds like I'm talking to someone from underwater. Come on, dog. I'll let him off his lead. Come here, there's a good boy. Wait there. There he is, that's him free. Off you go. Happy as hope now. Come on, move, hush. He's just smelling life. Bob, hey, you better not be looking at fox stuff. Come on, leave it. Get going. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? It's great when you've got something that puts a smile on your face every time you see him. And he's always kind of happy to see us. And he loves children as well. Bob, this way. Bobby, this way. Let's have a look. Come here. Looking down there into the gutter. Very sludgy. Very sludgy. I don't think, uh, where is he? I don't think we'll be venturing into that. And you can understand when this gets more overgrown with foliage. Your next few weeks, months, why you couldn't find anything in there if you wanted to. Bobby, come on. There we go. Showing us a bit of, he's opening up now, showing us a bit of speed. I've just seen something go over the path. I think it was a rabbit. They're more his kind of size, I think. I'm looking down here again. Bob, come here. Touch him. To get on woodland path further up and uh, somebody definitely slipped into grass here. And there's a if, if you look there, there's a run there. So everything's got the same idea. Simply wanting to survive to wood pigeons there that I'm absolutely certain camera won't pick up. Just sat, nuzzled together there. Oh, they're flying up. Yeah. And we're gonna go up there, I think, this morning and back into the wood. This way, come on. Where is he? Where is he? It's more of a jolly foot dog this morning than anything uh, of an unusual nature. But he loves it. A couple of crows. Well, it's kind of a sign, an ominous sign crows, aren't they? You watch films, sort of spooky old films, and you hear a few crows crowing. And there we go down there. And uh, yeah, you wouldn't want to be amongst any of that bramble. Right, off we go up here mate, come on. This way, find them. Come on. There he goes. Chief mouse catcher. Go on, find them. Mice. 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 Come on, fetch him. Fetch him.
this sludge can only mean one thing and that dog will be going in the sink when I get back sunrise amazing how good is that people it's breaking through here we go somebody's happy come on he's in hunting mode this morning so I like he's a dog of many talents a few days ago on the rocks and you know it's all tongue in cheek we said he were a rock athlete he's been a marine mammal and now he's in hunting mode I just hope he doesn't see a deer or something and decide he's gonna follow it because as slow as he is there's no way I'm gonna catch him is there it may be worth telling you that this is the little bit of woodland that I was in with Sarah my eldest daughter and Amanda 16th of December and uh, we've come to Dane's Dyke this little strip of woodland and I'm with my eldest daughter Sarah and Amanda's joined us I know I touched on it in the darkness a few weeks ago but this is the strip of woodland where people in the properties about three quarters of a mile away maybe half a mile away I'm not certain heard the screams and the howls in the early hours of the morning hence uh, we had a little walk in we're in a bit of woodland where people claim to have heard strange howls and sounds is it children is it kids running around in dirt could be or is it something else in the early hours of the morning so there he is sussing out his surroundings and uh, here we are just wait Stunny as I look back let's see if he stops no he's off oblivious just picking this up again I think it's about uh, 6 a.m. and uh, sun's well and truly up now and flashing through those trees quite spectacular I think I'm gonna have to bring the black magic camera and get a few kind of cinematic shots in these trees unfortunately I could do with the, another pair of hands but there's not many people want to get up at silly o'clock but while I'm here I'm just pondering on the unseen things that obviously through my own experience and through the reports of other people the, the unseen realm that exists all around us myself getting pulled backwards in that little bit of wood not too far from here people upon the cliff tops who saw the guy in the blue coat just literally walk out of existence as he walked down from the old RAF base are we looking at some imprint in time of someone or something are we imagining it is something placing these images in our heads well not necessarily if, if it's got the ability to pull you backwards and it's uh, it's the unseen that I find a little bit more sinister than what's in front of us although people are far more uh, dangerous should we say than probably any of this and they're not just dangerous physically they're dangerous with the tongues as well aren't they let's face it but uh, that's life and you know that you probably can't see it but uh, because of the sun but there's four ponies here eating this uh, sweet grass that's growing 
I thought they might have come to see us, but they're not doing. So we'll head off up here. Come on, Bob. We're going to encounter a little bit of sludge now. And uh, Just have a look. 29th of March. I said back there I thought it were about 6am. Well, that were about uh, 10 minutes since, so it's just before 6 now. And I'm just looking at this field which is covered in sludge, which I'm not happy about, but I don't have any choice. We're off across it. So we'll do that. We'll stop filming. This tree certainly has seen better days. What a shame. It's just grown and I'm kind of just split in half. And uh, interesting, but at the same time, pretty dangerous. You won't want to be underneath it when it finally falls. And look at that. Me and the dog probably head back. Come on, Bob. This way. Oh boy. Come on. It's funny. Everything's new. Must be great. Come on. The advantages that we have, I suppose, in most instances, look at him looking at me, come on. I thought we'll live much longer. But, where is he? He's able to do things at a much earlier age than what we would be able to do. Within months, he's racing about absorbing all of this. Find him, that's good. Not looking at me and going play. I'll get home so shortly, and that'll be him set for the day. I think. He's, uh, he's on springs now. Watch him end up in that water. Find him. Come on. There he goes. Look. Nice. He's on the trail. <laughs> he just makes you smile, doesn't he? Go on, leap. Let's see if we can get him jumping over this ravine. This way, Bob. Bobby, come on. Wow. That was good. And if we throw you a stick. Here, Bobby. Here. Watch this. Look at that. Come on. See if he can leap back with his cargo. Now that takes a bit of thinking about that. He's, <laughs> he's going to come round it. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Yeah, the good lad. Yep. So now, this morning, he's practically a hurdler. So he's got loads of talents, as you can see. And... Uh, I think his main talent is just putting a smile on my face. There we go. I don't think you're going to jump that one, mate. Come on. We'll go around this way. And uh, we're on last leg now. We're going to head back. Nothing really unusual to report. Just uh, a little bit of a walk. And as always, if you're enjoying these little bits of film, regardless of whether we're talking about the unexplained or just chewing things over with that little fella feel free to press the like and subscribe and uh, it just helps and we'll see you next time thank you 
So, Bobby's gone down there as you can see. Bobby, come on. And uh, it's kind of, oh, is it water now? This way, this way, come on. There's a challenge. Is he going to get up the bank? Oh, yes. Here he is. <laughs> and I've, uh, I was going to get back to the car, but I fancy going down there myself. What's he doing? Come on. He's, he's feeling a bit invigorated. Is that the word? I'll be invigorated if I fall down here. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Look at him. There he comes. Come on, then. Whoa. There he is. He's got some traction, this boy, today. Here's Paul. Come on. There you go. Look at that. Off you go, mate. Go on, off down there. Oh, God. That's great. Superb. Come here, Bobby. Well, we're in bottom of Dane's Dyke, and uh, he thinks it's great. This is fun, isn't it? And certain times of year. This way. Hey. This way. Come on. That's it. Look at the speed. Certain, he'll go back now, because he's just got that crazy head on. Certain times of year, this is flowing quite fast, and you can see how it's cut, th cut through everywhere. But I just, oh, what's he doing? I just love it when uh, I know that I'm treading in the footsteps of ancient peoples, where it's cut across here. I've got to get out of it yet. But uh, I will do. And he, well, I will. I'm, look at this lunatic. Here. Here. You've got to kind of create a distraction for him. So he thinks it's fun. Otherwise, uh, soon run away with us. Yeah, come on. We'll just keep charging on through here. It's quite soft, this. And we're, we're hitting a bit of a bottleneck here timber that's piled up so we might not be able to go much further because I don't want him to get stuck or out or hurt himself we'll have a look in a minute I'll stop filming well we're kind of committed we're kind of committed to walking through here now as you can see there's a bit of a drop there but it's a absolute log jam that we've got through and I've got a step down there, and I'm pushing this little dog. Well, not pushing him, but I'm asking him to do things that I'm, I'm not entirely happy I'm asking him to do. But um, I'm going to get down there, and I'll pick this up in a minute. Well, we got down it, as you can see. And uh, he negotiated everything. Well, but it's another one now and then we'll have to climb up out of it but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it because uh, great this don't you just love it I must be mad but uh, I've said many times these are the comforts of madness you can do what you want we're not hurting nobody and uh, I might not be able to do this in two or three years time so I'm doing it now and uh, got my little friend with me who was absolutely covered in sludge oh I mean if we were going to find any prints of anything it would be down here because I bet you Come here, dog. I'd like to bet that I'm one of the only people that's walked down here in quite a long time. Because nobody has the art to do anything. They want to stick to paths. He's gone. Bobby! Here. Where's he gone? There he is. Wait, come here. I have a feeling I might have to put him on his lead. Come here, here. I hope I don't have to head up there. Because if I do, you can see where deer have cut up it. 
but they're equipped for it. I'm afraid Paul Sinclair isn't. But we'll stop again, pick this up in a bit. Oh, he's off. Well, we've just uh, come up out of the dike and it was steep. I'd have liked to have filmed it, but unfortunately, you can see there's a log jam down there and I'm not gonna negotiate that with dog. He's not a terrier from myself and Bobby. It's funny, isn't he? Okay, bye-bye.